Hey everyone, welcome to Engage. This week my six Creedmoor barrel hit just over 700 rounds. It's still accurate as ever, about .375 MOA groups, but I figured it'd be a perfect time to show what a carbon ring is, some of the throat erosion, and then some of the fouling, and compare it to the brand new 6GT barrel that I received this week in the mail. I, I haven't even threaded it onto my action. Both barrels are 1 and 75 inch twists, 26 inch Bartline blanks, spun up by Studeville Precision. So they're pretty comparable. One's just chambered in 6GT and one is in uh, Creedmoor. So let's take a look. Okay, apologies in advance that this first vid video isn't super focused. The rest of them are much better. Aside from cleaning it each time after the first two shots and then after the first three shot group, I haven't even looked in the 6 Creedmoor barrel, let alone cleaned it. The first thing to note is the carbon ring here. A lot of people, when they think of a carbon ring, they think of a heavy buildup of carbon in this bolt gun, you know, forming a thick ring of soot that's kind of compressing your rounds, and I have never seen that in my guns. From my experience, it's really just what you see here. It's a little bit of carbon fouling stuck to where the neck of the brass fits into the chamber. I'll typically clean that out with some Hoppies number no. 9 and a brass brush. Here you can see the before on the left, and the right is the after. That carbon ring is pretty much totally gone, except for, you know, one or two little teeny tiny spots there. Then, as you move along, we're going to check out the throat. So, here on the left you can see the barrel after 700 shots. On the right you can see the same position on the brand new barrel. On the Creedmoor barrel, most of the damage is right by where the neck of the brass would meet the throat. It's definitely starting to crack and erode there. As we go up a little more into the freebore and into the throat, even onto the lands, there's been some damage. It's getting cracked and rough. When you zoom in, it almost looks like uh, alligator skin. You compare that to the similar place on the brand new barrel and it's totally smooth. Incidentally, a good quality barrel like these, they are just super smooth throughout there and that really helps minimize the break-in process. A custom lapped barrel it's just nice to get to work compared to an entry-level uh, barrel. The throat is where the barrel will traditionally wear out first. That roughness and the cracks will get worse or move further up the lands and then you'll start seeing your accuracy drop. That's typically when you want to consider swapping out your barrel. To clean it, I'll go through and use some Hoppies, some CL10 or Sweets, and then recently I've used Patch Out as well. After using a brush for the neck of the chamber, in general, I'll only use patches in the barrel, especially if I'm not in a rush. It's going to get out almost everything after five to six times of running it through, and I'm not worried about cleaning out every little piece of everything I see. I'm much more interested in seeing the patches come through clean. When the patches come clean, that's when I'm done, not when I can't see anything in the uh, bore scope there. On to the crown of the barrel. So on the left you can see a fair amount of discoloration prior to cleaning again. Apologies that it's not perfectly focused. It looks much more like the banding on Saturn than metal. I mean there's a lot of brown spots and carbon on copper. Uh, when I clean it I want to get most of that off there. On the right you can see it after it was cleaned. It's not perfectly down to steel only but the crown looks pretty good. The patches are coming out clean so I am done cleaning this one. Well, hopefully this was interesting. Different calibers erode barrels at different rates. This one is 6 Creedmoor and that's notorious for destroying barrels very quickly. If you were to look at a 308 or a 65 Creedmoor barrel after 700 rounds, it hopefully would not look like this one, be a lot less eroded. So what determines barrel life? It's largely a factor of velocity, diameter, amount of powder that you're putting through it, how quickly you shoot because that can heat up the barrel and a hot barrel will be chewed up a lot faster than one that's shot and then cooled down between every shot. All these things are major factors in barrel life. So what do you think? Do you clean your barrels often or just let them be after break-in? Let me know in the comments below and let me know what questions you have. Please help me out by liking and subscribing and here's to small groups small extreme spreads, and many impacts. In general, after break-in, I'm a guy who doesn't clean unless it isn't shooting. You know, that way in my mind, one, you're not wasting time and effort trying to clean it out. Two, you don't have to use even more barrel life fouling it up after you've cleaned it. And then three, the velocities just stay more consistent if you ask me. 
But still, I don't think it hurts too much to clean it if you do it right. It just takes, you know, 5 to 20 shots to get it back up to velocity.